wanted to do a video today going over the basics of reloading for rifle cartridges. Specifically today we'll be loading the 223 uh, to shoot out of my AR as a plinking load. Um, the basic equipment that you'll need just to get started, and this isn't for you know extreme accuracy, this is just you know a plinking ground that I use out of my AR and I just want to show you the basic equipment and the steps to do it and some of the questions that popped up when I was getting into reloading. Uh, so here you go. The equipment that you'll need to start out with, you'll need a press, and this is the RCBS rock chucker. You'll need a powder funnel, which comes in very handy. You'll need a scale, a powder trickler, a powder funnel, a micrometer, a set of dies, and some type of priming tool. I prefer using the hand primer because it's faster and uh, easier to use. Um, but this is all the equipment that you'll need just to get started in basic reloading. Now the components that you'll need for reloading are the brass, the projectiles, powder, and primers. And that takes care of it for the components that you'll need to reload rifle cartridges. For those of y'all that are new to reloading and haven't done it before, the sizing and depriming step is a step in which it shrinks the the casing back down to the original dimensions. When you fire a case, the pressure exerted on it causes it to expand, so it, it's no longer you know at the original specified dimensions. And to illustrate that, I have here a fired case, and I have here one that I've already sized. If you look on the fired case, the bullet easily slides in and out. So this one we can't we can't load it, you know, because the bullet will obviously just fall straight down in there. On the size case, the bullet won't go in. So when we seat this bullet, it'll have tension that'll hold the bullet there until the bullet's fired. Also to show you, I have my micrometer here or my calipers, and if you look, that case measures out. Two five five. In the sized case, the outside diameter measures two four four. So that just illustrates why we size the cases back down. It just squeezes it back down to the original dimensions so that we can then seat the bullet. Today we'll take five cases through the entire reloading process. And the process starts with you just basically visual, visually inspecting the cases for any blemishes or imperfections or you know what you don't want are any large, large dents in it, any sorts of creases or cracks. Um, you want to look down here and make sure that you know it's not very discolored. If it's real light, you'll probably start to have case head separation. Uh, you don't want to have that any bulges. You want to discard those cases, um, cracked necks. You know all these cases look good, and I have an example for you here of what a cracked neck looks like. And you can see right there. See the crack in the neck. That's where this brass has been used one too many times. And the metal has weakened from where you, you size it, shrink it down, you shoot it, it expands, shrink it down. It's worked hardened, and it's just it's cracked. So this is the kind of case where you want to inspect it, see that, catch that, and throw it out and not use it again. Once you've inspected all your cases, uh, you'll just need to lube them up um, before you size them. What I do to lube, I just toss them all in this little bin. Give it a squirt of lube, and a little bit goes a long way. Just kind of slosh them around, work them around, and get them all nice and slick so they don't get stuck in the dye. Um, it makes resizing a whole lot easier when they're lubed. Next, I'll show you how to set up your sizing and depriming die for that operation. Raise the ram of the press slightly and insert the shell plate holder like that. Lower the press, then you want to insert 
the side empty priming die in and thread it down. Raise the press all the way up and tighten this until it touches the ram. And then back it off about an eighth of a turn and set your lock nut. And snug it down. Once you have it snug down, you can set the set screw so that the next time you go to reload, you don't have to worry about setting it up. Just insert, insert, thread it down till it touches the lock nut and snug it down and you'll be good to go. With that all set up, you want to put on the, the primer catch tray. Take a round, insert it, raise it all the way up. And there you have the spent primer that just got knocked out. And lower it back down. And you can see now that we've sized and deprimed. The bullet that would just slide in before now won't. Just repeat the process with the rest of your brass. And after this, we'll be ready for the priming step. And that's all there is to it. That's sizing and depriming. After you've sized and deprimed the cartridges, you're now ready to insert a fresh primer into the case. To do this, again, I like to use this hand priming tool. To do this, you'll insert the primers into the tray. Flip it upside down. And flip it over. All the primers will need to be oriented with the with the anvil facing outwards. To do that, you just shake it around a little bit, and most all of them will flip over. Sometimes you got a little stubborn one, just use your hands and flip it over. Once they're all oriented in the correct direction, insert the cover. and then insert it into the priming tool. You just take it case by case, slide it into the shell plate holder, squeeze it, and that's all there is to putting a new primer into the case. Then just run through all your cases. Shake a new primer down in there, close it, you want to make sure that the primer is seated just below the base of the case. If it's sticking out too far you run the risk of having a slam fire in which the gun goes off unintentionally when you chamber the round. So you just want to make sure that that primer is seated just slightly below and you can feel it as you're, size, or as you're putting the primer in there. And you can see once you get in a rhythm it becomes a pretty quick process to reprime the cases. And that's all there is to priming.